Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Smarter by the Second by Abacus. Good to see that you've tuned in once more. Uh, today is the 2nd of June, a national holiday in Italy. On this day in 1946, Italians voted in a referendum to turn Italy from a monarchy into a republic. The Republic of Italy was born that same day and King Umberto II of Savoia was exiled, ending the Savoia's reign in Italy. It wasn't that long before that Italy had been unified, also thanks to Giuseppe Garibaldi, as a kingdom under the Savoia. But in which year was Italy unified? Uh, this is the question for you guys at home. If you want to answer this, a uh, link to the Google Forms will be sent in the chat. So you can see now that Lavinia is uh, making the questions for the viewers. And with us uh, here today, we have uh, Luke. Who do you think, Luke? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm uh, very honored to be here, finally, after all the after viewing all those uh, cool episodes. Uh, now I finally uh, can uh, see how, how, uh, how I will do. Yeah, you're one of uh, our most trustful watchers. Yes. Always there. Always there. So uh, can you introduce yourself, uh, Luke? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm Luke. Um, you uh, hopefully you uh, all know me. Uh, I'm the uh, I'm a board member at the moment at Abacus. I'm the secretary and uh, in office internal affairs. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, I will survive this uh, <laughs> a bit. We hope also as uh, office internal affairs, of course, you should be uh, close with all the members of Abacus. So, uh, what have you done before you uh, become a board member? Good question. Um, in my first year, I uh, on the freshman committee and I also joined the Pixie, the photo committee. And in my second year, I uh, also joined the Twig in. So, um, so some of my freshmen uh, may also know me from uh, organizing the, the alternative kick in uh, of this year. So, uh, of last year, I was going to say. What a great kick in that was indeed. Yes, yes. So, uh, then what was your motivation to do a board year then after those uh, committees? Yeah, I, I really felt like Abacus was a big family and a nice place. And uh, I thought, yeah, what was even better than doing committees and being active at your, at your uh, association than doing board year. So I thought, let's let's give something back, like like I say, but also just because it's a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, so I thought that's this perfect opportunity. So now uh, we also have a candidate board as Abacus. And uh, your successor for both the function secretary and function uh, officer internal affairs is Thomas. Yes. Who has been a uh, participant here at uh, Smart by the Second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was the first one to participate in the category uh, media. This is oh, also the category that uh, you are participating in. Yeah, yeah. So is that just uh, something uh, really for officer internal affairs and secretaries? or? Well, for me personally, it was quite hard to choose what, uh, what to do because I. Uh... I just like pub quizzes in general, just all the questions, also geography and, and stuff like history. And but also I thought media, well, let's try. I'm a big music fan and uh, I hope my knowledge about the other media is also uh, uh, on point. And, uh, of course, Thomas also uh, got the, the free rounds correct. So what yeah. will you do if, if you don't manage to do that? Because then you have a, a candy who scored better than you. Yeah, well, um, of course, uh, it just depends on the round, so. <laughs> <laughs> So you blame it on the on the good luck. Of course. Yes, of course. But this is the only only way I will not reach uh, the fourth round. Then. <laughs> all right, all right. But then talking about what we are going to do today, uh, we will do at most four rounds today. In each round, you will get nine answers on screen. I will ask a question or show a photo or uh, audio will play, and you have to say the corresponding answer. In the first round, you will need five good answers, and this member will. In Greece, uh, every round, so the second one, six correct answers, the third one, seven, and then the fourth round, all of them need to be correct. Uh, during the round, your time will be ticking, and you start off with 300 seconds. Uh, to help you, you will have three lifelines. Once used per lifeline, one uh, false answer will be counted as right. Uh, a lifeline will also cost you 60 seconds uh, on your clock. And everyone that is completely correct will give you another extra lifeline, which can be used in a later round. Yes. And uh, once you survive the first three rounds, you will receive the amazing prize of one abacus cookie. Uh, nice. But if you're feeling really confident and have enough time and lifelines left, you can choose to play the fourth round. Uh, here, all nine answers should be correct. But if you succeed in this, you uh, get twice your bet and you get two abacus cookies. 
but if you fail, you're only left with the participation trophy, which is a, a cloth. Yes, also a nice trophy, of course. <laughs> All right, so uh, without further ado, I think we can uh, move on to the first uh, round. Yeah, I think there are still not the full seconds. I don't know. If yeah, I see uh, Luke is currently on 103 seconds. No. I hope this could be updated to the 300 seconds that he's supposed to get. And in the meantime, uh, we can introduce the first round. Uh, the very first home video game console was the Magnavix Odyssey. It was released in September 1972 and cost a bit less than $100, uh, which is equivalent to $680 now. It featured a controller which will be unrecognizable by today's standards. All you had were three knobs which you could turn and control the game. In this round, nine game controllers. We'll have a picture and a small description. So the answers that you can choose from are the PlayStation 5, the SNES, PlayStation, the Xbox 360, the Switch, Genesis, the NES, the Atari 2600, and the N64. All right, so now we wait just a bit more for, oh, I just got confirmation that it's already on 300. Okay, I, I don't see it yet, but uh, maybe... Uh, maybe that it will uh, uh, be updated once we start the round, and otherwise we will just add 107 seconds later. Yes, that sounds fair. Uh, we, we hope you don't use the full 200 seconds in the first round. <laughs> maybe, maybe. All right, then we can start with the first round. You get a picture and a small description. Yes. Released in 1988 on October 29th. Uh, Genesis. Released in 1996, June 23rd. This is the N46? 64, uh, 46. 1990, I'm from 21, this is this one. Mm. This is the N46. And released on November 12, 2020. This is the... Uh, 2020, you say? Yeah, 2020. It's the PlayStation 5. And released on September 11, 1977. This is the SNES. Released on the 3rd of December, 1995. PlayStation. Released on July 15, 1983. Atari. Then released on and July Switch? 15. Finally released on November Xbox 360. There's still one left. Um, well, that's the NES. The time. All right, as mentioned before, five answers are needed to be right. We do have three lifelines. How confident are you in your picks? So I know four answers for sure. The other ones were quite guessed. So uh, I'm doubting to use one, one lifeline already because. I, I, it could be that they're all correct, and it could be that only four are correct because I only know four for sure. Um, Makes it a, a hard decision. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I will, I will use one because I don't want to <laughs> be kicked out the first one. Better safe than sorry. Yes, I, uh, I think. We so. already talked about the shame uh, of losing yeah. to Goma, so. All right, so one lifeline will be used. It will cost you sixteen seconds. Luckily for you, you. Just less than 70 seconds, so 20 uh, time to spare. Right, and then the first answer released in 1988. This was Genesis, the first correct one. And then you already see the Nintendo uh, logo. You first said the N64, and you later uh, changed this, but it was the N64. Yeah, yeah, all the other Nintendo. And then uh, this one will be counted as right because of your lifeline. Then the next one, another Nintendo console um, coming out of 1990 is the. That is your first incorrect one. Which which one was it? I didn't hear. Oh, it this was the SNES. SNES. Yeah. And then the PlayStation 5, by far the most recent uh, uh, controller. And this is the Atari again. I think you first said Atari here as well, and then you corrected it wrongly again. Then this one is, of course, the, the older PlayStation controller. 
then post Nintendo once again. This was the NES. And you are still in need of one correct answer, but here it is with the Nintendo Switch. So congratulations, you're moving on to the next round, and you even got that Xbox 360 right as well. So the lifeline was not uh, necessary. Nope. But yeah, uh, I'm still uh, still happy I did it because uh, the Genesis was also a guess. So, uh... All right, now we can move on to the second round. One of the most famous album covers ever made is the one from The Velvet Underground and Nico. The cover was designed by Andy Warhol and it features a big yellow banana on the front. The banana is actually a sticker which you could pull to reveal the inside of the banana. Uh, original album sleeves with the sticker still on are worth a lot nowadays. This round, nine album covers. Uh, you will see a picture and that's it. Sure. So you uh, told me beforehand that uh, music was your strong aspect in the uh, media. I think so. So you always notice those album covers if you're listening to some music. I uh, I think I do, but uh, I hope I uh, know enough. All right, then the ones that you can choose from are Parallel Lines, The Dark Side of the Moon, Unknown Pleasures, Remain in Light, The Rush of Blood to the Head, Abbey Road, In the Court of the Crimson King, Elephant, and Rumors. You listen uh, to any of these albums? Uh... Yeah, I know uh, I know some of them. Right, then I hope for you that you get six correct answers. Otherwise, you have to use lifelines again. So, I won't say a thing. Only the picture will be shown. Good luck. Thank you. This is Rumors. This is the Dark Side of the Moon. This is a rush of blood to the head. This is in the court of the Crimson King. Remain in light. Abbey Road. Elephant. Unknown pleasures. And parallel lines. Top of time. All right, so six correct answers are needed. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll go for a count again. Uh, I will use one lifeline again. All right. Sure. Then 60 seconds will also be removed. Still get more than half uh, of your seconds left. Here we can move on to checking the answers. So the first one, set coffee B, was rumors. This is correct. Second one, see it on the shirts all the time. <laughs> uh, the dark side of the moon. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, Rose of Blood to the Head. Same for me. Same for me. So far, so good. And this one felt more as a guest, uh, I think, with the time uh, okay. spent on this one. But it's indeed the, in the core of the Crimson King. Oh, that was uh, luckily there. And then you kind of see it by the album cover. A lot of parallel lines. Ah, these are the parallel lines. Ah. <laughs> I think, uh, this one is also one of the most recognizable album covers. It's uh, Abbey Road. And we get Elephant. We have Remain in light. And finally, we have unknown pleasures. So this means that, again, you've used a lifeline where not one was needed, but so far so good. You still have 156 seconds left and one lifeline. And we're moving on to the third round, possibly the last. Since his first theatrical debut, Steven Spielberg has only once hired someone besides John Williams to score his movies. This was in 1974 for The Color Purple. However, due to circumstances, Will, uh, Williams was also unable to score some of Spielberg's most recent films like Rich of Spies and Ready Player One. Now, they still have one of the longest lasting collaborations ever from 1974 all the way up to 2015. In total, Williams has scored 27 of Spielberg's 32 films. 
this round nine soundtracks. So we will play the audio and you have to tell me the corresponding movie. Yes. And the movie options are The Breakfast Club, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, Saturday Night Fever, Really, Little Miss Sunshine, Inception, Pulp Fiction, Indiana Jones, and lastly, The Exorcist. So how are you feeling about this round? I think uh, quite confident. All right, all right. Um, you can just uh, shout your answer. You do not have to wait the, the whole time for the audio to play. Perfect. Uh, I won't say a thing, so it's uh, all up to you. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. I would say Breakfast Club. Little Miss Sunshine. Amelie. Inception. This is good, bad, ugly. Saturday Night Fever. No fiction. This is Inception. Indiana Jones. I can't there you still have one left. Oh. And then fill in the last one, stop the time. Right. <laughs> I was waiting for another one, but of course I uh, yeah. skipped. <laughs> yes. So, you only can switch two of them, and all the orders need to be correct, as this is the first round, so seven correct answers are needed. Okay. This one's right, this one's right, this one. Um, I think I'm going for a for a, um, a bold move and use no lifelines because if I can uh, keep the lifeline, then I will try the uh, fourth round. Ooh, and uh, if, interesting. Because I have the seconds. Um, and uh, well, if I don't uh, get it right, then uh, then the story ends here, and that's also fine for me. So I will. Uh, I will try without, and uh, I think it will be it will be chef, six or seven, right? So, it uh, we'll see. We will see. We will see indeed. Uh, fortunately, we cannot play the audio again, so we uh, have to do it by memory. The first one was uh, the Breakfast Club. Here it's a uh, phone to by the Simple Minds. So there's the first one correct. And we got Little Miss Sunshine. That's the second one also correct. But Amelie, the thing that someone can play a little of piano, they will uh, show you this song. Then you first named Inception for this one, then later you put The Exorcist for the fourth one, which is correct. Then The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, I think if I'm uh, correct, uh, you also use this in your trick in uh, announcement. Yes, uh, yes, video. very nice. And we got uh, the disco music for Saturday Night Fever. I think uh, I heard that you're a great fan of uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, well, I, 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 I just already, when I saw the name, I thought this is the song, but um, I still have to watch it uh, even. So I'm Oh, gonna... you haven't watched it. I thought yeah. you, you have least watched a couple of times. No, no, I still have to, uh, so. uh, but, but I will do soon. But did, this was indeed Pulp Fiction. Then the epic music from Inception. And finally, we've got Indiana Jones. Who cannot recognize that song? So all of them are correct. So that Perfect. means that you also get a second lifeline. Uh, That's insane. And you still have over 100 seconds left. And uh, taking into account that you've basically just spilled two lifelines in 32, 32 seconds, you, uh, we are in for an uh, interesting fourth round. Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> all right. So uh, I think we've only uh, had one uh, person before. Attempting the forefront and also managing to finish it. That's uh, that's a high bar, but uh, I, I will try my best. We will see. Moving on to the question where all answers need to be correct. One of the biggest prizes to win in film is, of course, the Academy Awards. They have been awarded 93 times now already. The Academy Awards were also known as the Oscars, of course, 
However, no one knows for certain where the name comes from. <laughs> one story says that they were named after the husband of one of the presidents from the Academy Awards. Another story states that when Margaret Herrick first saw the award, she said that the statue reminded her of Uncle Oscar, a nickname from one of her cousins, Oscar Pierce. Uh, here we have nine Academy Award winners. We will show the poster on screen. Uh, I will tell you the year that the award was given out and also a small description of it. Okay. Then the movies that you can choose from are The Titanic, American Beauty, Schindler's List, The Godfather, Good Light, Birdman, Violence of the Lamb, Argo, and Dog Millionaire. So is this what you expected for the final round? I uh, I had no expectations, so uh, I uh, I will just see uh, what happens. <laughs> it's the second uh, movie round today, and the first one went quite well. Yes, definitely. So we'll go right into it. Won the award in 1973. Godfather. Birdman. 1992. Silence of the Lambs. Won the award in 2009, a drama film that tells the story of Jamal Malik. Slumdog Millionaire. Won the award in 2000, it's a black comedy drama film following the Midlands. American Beauty. Won the award in 1994, the film is mostly in black and white except for several key Sheetless moments. List. Won the award in 2013, the film follows the rescue of six US diplomats from Tehran. Argo. The in 2016 follows the theme of the Boston Globe and covering the Boston sex abuse scandal. Spotlight. On the ward in 1998. Titanic, stop the time. All right. That was uh, quite fast, so you still have 59 seconds left. Yeah, which, so uh, I, I will use uh, both my lifelines, of course. Yes. And um, so I, it would be uh, unwise to not. Uh, yeah, and um, I think I got close, so I, I will see if, uh, if it's enough. Yeah, given your two lifelines, uh, you can switch two of them. Yeah. And uh, Stefan, uh, you have to do uh, your own split. Indeed. So, then, how to checking them. The award, won the award in 1973. It's a current movie based on the novel by Mario Puzo with the same name. And it's The Godfather. And you can already see it a bit on the poster. It's uh, famous for its one take format. It's Birdman. And won the award in 1992. It's a detective psycholo psychological thriller based on the novel by Thomas Harris. It's The Silence of the Land. And won the award in 2009. It's a drama film that tells the story of Jamal Malik, Slumdog Millionaire. And won the award in 2000. It's a black comedy drama film following the midlife crisis of Lester Burnham. American Beauty. And this one got an Oscar in 1994. The film is mostly in black and white, except for several key moments. It's Peter's List. And the movie follows the rescue of six US diplomats from Tehran, won an Oscar in 2013, and is based on a true story. It's Argo. Now we know you already uh, managed to win, uh, if you have two lifelines yes. still left. But even then, this one won the award in 2016, follows the theme of the Boston Globe and covering the Boston sex abuse scandal. The theme of the Boston Globe was called Spotlight. So then Spotlight here is the answer. And then won the award in 1998. It's an epic romance and disaster film. It takes, among other things, the big difference between social classes and it's Titanic. So congratulations uh, to you, Luke. Nice, nice. Thank you very much. That, uh, Did you expect this uh, coming uh, into this today? Well, the first two rounds didn't went that amazing, so uh, I was just uh, hoping to survive the third round. But then I saw, uh, well, if, if I can make it without lifelines, then I can probably make the fourth round, or, or try it indeed. So, uh, and uh, it worked. So. Well, uh, the, the funny thing is that you've used, uh, I think, four lifelines today, and all of them were unnecessary. <laughs> yes. So. Uh, I think we can leave them out uh, next uh, episode. <laughs> yes. All right. And uh, oh, we are still one. Uh, and it's the viewer's question at home. Let's see if I. Yes. And the viewer question was about when Italy was unified. And this was in 1861. 
And the person who got this right was Pelle. So congratulations to you too, Pelle. All right, then uh, I want to thank you. Oh, and uh, I, I want to say that for the people that are watching now, please also sign up. Uh, a link to sign up will now be sent in the chat and afterwards also in the WhatsApp group. Uh, now you can see Luke is the great example that you can make your dreams come true when you're here on the show. So, uh, more congratulations to you, Luke, and thanks for thanks. participating. Yeah, thanks for organizing. No problem. All right, uh, this was the episode for this week. We hope you tune in next week as well. So, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye.